Hi friends and welcome to our National Daily Prayer Strategy. It is happening the 19th hour every day. 2020 looks like a very uncertain year for many of us across Australia. And the things that you and I once held as very stable in our lives have now all of a sudden become unstable. That job that was certain now becomes uncertain. That pay that came in each week has stopped coming in. But you know, the bill's still coming. The kids are home from school. We're worried about our parents getting sick and maybe losing them. So the world that you and I now face today in 2020 wasn't what we thought it would be when we first started this year. I'd like to read a psalm of David that David wrote when he faced very, very uncertain times in his life and he had to have something to hold himself together and to hold his life together when it had become unstable. And it's a well-known psalm, Psalm 23, a psalm that you would know and a psalm that most of, you would, uh, most of us would know. But there are truths and keys in this psalm that you and I can hold our lives on. And so David wrote this, he said, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lay down in green pastures, he leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And though, yes, I may walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for I know you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies, and you anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Friends, I want to encourage you today before we pray that in the midst of this uncertain world in which we live, there are a lot of stable things in which we can hold our lives on. And these are the promises of God. David knew it, he said, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Today for a lot of us as we look forward into 2020, and we see our, our finances and the situation that they're in, our job certainties. The pathway forward may seem very dark, but friends, I want to encourage you today that as we build our lives on the Word of God and who He is in our lives, that we know that His presence will always be with us. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For David said, I know that you are with me. And today as we pray, friends, I want you to know with certainty that the presence of God is with you. You don't do this alone. Jesus said, I will never leave you, I will never forsake you. And he's not a God who leaves his children or his people or a nation for that matter in time of need. So I'd like us to pray. I'd like us to pray for our homes, our marriages. I'd like to pray for our medical staff. I'd like to pray for those people today as they look forward and they're looking forward in despair and don't know what their future's going to hold. So let's pray together. Father God, we hold our nation before you, this great south land of the Holy Spirit, a land of plenty, a land of increase. Father, you have a promise for our land, you have a promise for our people, and today we stand upon that promise. We stand first of all on the promise that you'll be with us no matter what, no matter what a situation we find ourselves in today. We thank you that you're in it with us. Although fear may try to come around our lives, it is an enemy that tries to rob our hope and tries to rob our security. But Lord, you said you prepare a table for us in the midst of our enemies. And so today, we pin our hope on you. We don't pin our hope on the fears that would come around our lives. So Father, we hold this nation, we hold our children. Lord, we hold our emergency services before you and Lord, we pray for strength for them. But Lord, most of all, we pray for hope for people, that our life and our hope is in you. And we thank you, Lord, that we're gonna be a greater, greater nation as a result. We're gonna be far bigger, better people when we come out the other side of this. So Father, we thank you today for your presence. We thank you for your promises and we thank you for your, for your hope that you've given to our hearts. Amen. I really want to encourage you today to, to share the word with other people, to, to get onto Facebook on City Point Redcliffe 
and to be able to join us and to continue praying now. Just because we've prayed, just continue to pray and to believe God and also to share with the people you know and your loved ones about what is happening in the 19th hour of every day. Thank you.